Welcome to our channel. Doggy Recall, Training in Easy Steps. When you train your dog to look at you when you want them to, this is an important element of developing a solid recall. And it is one of the best ways to guarantee they are paying attention to you and ready to do whatever else you want. Dogs only think about one thing at a time, and if you can teach them something basic that means that one thing is you, you are already halfway to a well-trained dog, and you are considerably more likely to be able to distract them from whatever they are passionate about. Your dog's name is the cue for them to look at you, so teach them that their name always indicates good things. Don't call them by their name for anything unpleasant, never call them to you for things they don't like, and don't call them by their name in vain, otherwise, you're training them to ignore it. From now on, their name will be something they look forward to hearing, and will associate with receiving wonderful things from you. Now that you have the foundation for a recall in place, you can add a recall phrase to link that word to the action when they approach you. This is where most people go wrong. Until your dog understands that the word come signifies coming towards you, it is meaningless. It's pointless to include it when they aren't approaching you because it will educate them that come implies don't come or come when when you want to. Don't forget to reward them with a treat when they come to you, so they always think it's a great idea to come to you. Every time you work in a new location, start from the beginning with no cue word, just dropping a treat so you're teaching your dog that recall means come wherever you are. Dogs aren't good at generalizing, so they may know that come means come in the room you have taught them only, so it is important to teach them in the different rooms of the house. When you are confident that your dog will come to you when you say, come, you may begin practicing for real. Begin slowly in the home, then in the garden, until they reliably come to you, first on lead, then off lead. You can also have some fun with this by running backwards as your dog approaches you, forcing them to follow you. Alternatively, if you have the space, run and duck behind a tree or shrub. Always be enthusiastic and reward them when they discover you. You are now ready to go out and practice your recall, for real, now that you have a good reliable recall at home and in the garden. Make it a game that both of you will enjoy. People frequently only call their dogs towards the end of a stroll, teaching them that come means the fun is over now, so it's no surprise they don't run back. Use either a 2 meter training lead or better still, a long line. Then begin practicing recalls. The lead the long line prevents your dog from getting too far away from you, most dogs have a critical distance beyond which they become selectively deaf. And while you shouldn't be reeling them in with the lead, it does give you the peace of mind that they are safe, and if necessary, you can begin to steer them towards you as a last resort. Once you are certain that your dog will return when called, you can begin to practice off-lead as long as you are in a safe and secure environment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, share and comment.